Welcome to the new Windows 11. All right, I confess it's not. Something new, a Linux-based system that's purposely meant to look like Windows 10. Well, let's take a look. All right, I have to be honest. I've been looking at this thing or I first got word of this last week. I think it was Saturday. First, I brushed it off. I mean, I was like, oh, come on, man. But it's been on my mind and curiosity got the best of me as a Windows user. So I thought, why not? Let's take a look at this. So this is uh, Windows uh, FX, I believe it's called. Uh, I'm booting this off the USB. The, um, it seems to be okay booting it off the USB. So let's give it a shot and see what happens. It's nice that they had simple screen recorder pre-installed. So I am, I am happy about that. All right, so let's go ahead and minimize simple screen recorder. As you can see, it's right down here at the panel bar. Very nice. All right, so let's see. We have select your language, English. Okay. This system is running straight from the image. For complete operation, it is recommended that you install the complete system. Some failures can occur. Can occur. Um, fair enough. So it says your start the installation. The language will be detected automatically. I think we'll skip that and the monitor is perfectly fine click apply yeah keep uh, keep um let's get out of that and let's see you know what let's go ahead and get out of that okay this seems okay so hopefully this will hold for the duration of the recording all right this is brand new this is this is purposely meant to to look like windows 10. now for all the windows users out there this is not windows it's a linux based system I believe it's based off of Debian or Ubuntu with Ubuntu packages, I think. So just, just keep that in mind. This is not Windows. All right, right click. Ah, we can add desklets. Little shortcuts on the screen. Okay. Uh, not much here. Can we like drag this over? No, we can. We got to do the plus. Let's do that. All right, so there we have a clock. Um, yeah, let's keep that there for now. Right click again. Okay, so the usual change desktop background. Um, wow, a lot of nice wallpapers. Um, let's do let's do the galaxy. Okay, good enough. Okay, let's get out of that. All right, there is a panel at the bottom. Let's see. I do like the, the default colors and fonts. Um, let's see. A bunch of applets so this is this kind of reminds me of the cinnamon desktop in a way um, we can download so your cache is out of there yeah I would say cinnamon okay right click again panel edit mode yeah this is definitely cinnamon uh, system settings and the usual here okay fair enough okay time and date go to the sound settings input sounds output very good Okay, so nothing unusual here. Um, what is any desk? Uh, you can this your desk can be accessed with this address. Uh, interesting. Okay, let's go through the um, let's go through the shortcuts. So simple screen recorder, Google Chrome, the file manager. Let's see what this is. Okay, so it's Nemo. Very good. But yeah, all all this looks fine. The default colors and fonts. <laughs> the software center notice it has the Windows logo did they get permission to do this <laughs> yeah I know I know I hope they did if not <laughs> oh dear um, okay so while it's doing that so this is uh, desktops workspaces so we got four okay probably escape to get out of that very good this is search Oh, it's voice activated. It said, hello, I'm ready to help you. I mean, I'm, I'm totally serious. That's how it sounded. I'm ready to help you. Well, what was the name of that movie, Mars Attacks? That's what it sounded like. It sounded like the aliens. Um, okay, so explore, installed, updates. Okay, well, this looks cool. I have no problem with this. Uh, this is a Google search. Let's search total OS today. And um, nothing happens, maybe after the install. <laughs> I just, hello, I'm ready to help you. Okay, let's see what we have installed here. 
All right, a search tab at the bottom. Accessories. I'll go through these real quick here. Uh, let's see if anything catches my uh, anti micro. Uh, that's for a gamepad. That, at least that's what it says at the bottom. Okay. Education, LibreOffice, games. We have Steam client graphics. Okay, the GIMP installed by default. Very good. Internet, Firefox, Google Chrome, Microsoft Teams. Interesting. Ah, Skype, one of my favorites. Telegram, VMware Horizon client, and Zoom. Very interesting. Okay, uh, Citrus receiver. I have no idea what that is. After agreeing, nah, not, not right now. Maybe you guys know what that is. Um, again, I'm looking at this the very first time as you are. Office, LibreOffice Sound and Video. Again, I'm very happy that Simple Screen Recorder was, re was installed by default. VLC, fantastic. Probably my number one player for both Linux and Windows. Universal Access Administration. Uh, let's see here. A Password Manager, Domain User Password Manager, HTOP. Uh, GW package installer. Okay, I mean uh, all of this looks good in terms of packages, preferences, effects. All right, some effects here, and you can customize the setting. Would imagine after a full install. Again, this looks like it's based off the Cinnamon desktop, which is fine. Places the usual here. Recent files. You can clear the list. Go back. Um, I have to tell you, running this off a USB stick, this thing flies. Um, so far, anyway, let's go to uh, monitor, system monitor. And uh, again, to get the real, real effect of this or how this works, you should do a full install. So running 2.1 gigs, a little bit high with the recorder, but again, it's running off the USB stick. Um, yeah, CPU, it's kind of low. It's, you know, it's, it's not bad, actually. Um, shortcuts here on the desktop. Again, the usual here. System properties, what I have. Okay, very good. A Linux FX ID product ID. That's interesting. Um, hmm. Well, yeah, I mean, this looks nice. Um, this may confuse, um, some Linux or some Windows users into thinking they can just install Windows. Actually, with this, I believe through Wine, uh, let's yeah, Wine Tricks lets lets you at least to it, attempt to install executables from Windows. I personally have never had good luck with that. So if if there's a Windows package or application I need to use, I just boot into Windows. But at least it's here. Um, so I have to admit that the desktop actually looks pretty nice. Um, is this something I would use? I really don't know. I suppose I'll recommend anything that's stable. All right, well, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you guys think. I'll have a link for this uh, below in the show notes. Let me know, and maybe we'll talk more about this in the future, but, uh, it does look nice, I will say that. I'm not sure if I was to install this, would I customize anything? I kind of like the, you know, the dark gray on, on white here looks nice, but um, let's remove that. Yes, let's remove that. Um, yeah, it, it looks nice. I'll, I'll leave it at that. So let's go ahead and end this and let me know what you guys think. Arrivederci. Uh,